In this episode, we're gonna talk about the latest iPhone 14 rumors, which are all great. Keep zooming. Come closer, closer. April Fools. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Front Page Tech, FPT Front Page Oh, man, I am so excited. I have been waiting all year long for this. I go to bed every night on my little iPad mini. I say one more day till I host FPT. One more day, because I can say whatever I want. I'm going to ruin his career in this episode. Let's jump into it. Okay, guys, first up for the day, story number... Eins, that's German, all right? You got a little German boy hosting today. Story number eins, you would say German. So you guys know how about a month or so ago, I don't know, maybe it was a couple weeks. I just do this for my day job. I got kids to feed. You probably remember that Apple dropped iOS 15.4, which by far was the most significant software update we have gotten since iOS 14. And you're gonna say, well, wait a second there, Samo. Uh, they dropped iOS 15, which included all those amazing enhancements. Really? It included a bunch of amazing enhancements? Go ahead, list them. List out all the amazing enhancements in iOS 15. This is a challenge to everybody. Off the top of your head right now, try to name three things that iOS 15 did. I've got share play. I've got... Um... Did I say share play? Oh, there was the maps upgrades as well, where I think they look more detailed. Listen, my point being, iOS 15 was by far the weakest update we've gotten in years. And iOS 15.4 showed me just how exciting things can get again. Because in iOS 15.4, Apple introduced the mask ID, where for the first time with face ID, since the mother truck and pandemic started, we could actually use our masks with our iPhones. And it's so good, like it's so amazing. I love it so much. And that's actually not what today is about. I mean, though I love it. It's actually about the update to iOS 15.4 that just dropped, iOS 15.4.1. You guys know how it goes whenever a big update drops, some of those little itty bitty buggyos just jump into the software and they muck everything up. Well, apparently something big with the battery got mucked up because in a very rare public admission, Apple said that they fixed a battery drain issue. If you're wondering why I'm reacting like that, it's because people talk about battery drain every time time there's a new iOS update. And Apple either A, never addresses it because it's a placebo, which is probably most likely, or B, fixes it without telling anybody. But this time they were just straight up. They're like, yeah, we kind of borked the battery. Here's a fix. On top of that though, there were also some accessibility updates for made for iPhone hearing aids or braille where it was glitching out or not working properly. You know how bugs go. We're like, I don't really know how this happened, but it was happening. So that has happened as well. On top of some nice little security updates that they sauced out. I mean, to be fair, I feel like the security community sometimes overblows these things because they're like, it was a zero day. It was basically the end of the world, bro. If you don't update to 15.4.1 right now, you're basically like opening yourself up to the STDs of the internet. So yeah, overall, just update your phone right now. It's way better in every way. And hey, I hear that phone could also help you connect with our sponsor. So you want to invest your money, right? But you look at the stock market and you're like, that's a little volatile. That's a little spoopy. He always says that word spoopy. But you know what isn't? Art isn't. Art is great. That's why this episode is sponsored by Masterworks.io. And Masterworks gives everyone, not just the high rollers, the chance to invest in famous Picasso, Monet, and Bansky paintings. Why art though? Well, art has outpaced the S&P 500 from 1995 to 2021, and it has almost no correlation with stocks. Is it legit? Yes. Masterworks is the first company to offer paintings backed up with the same securities and exchange commission as public offerings. But is anybody doing it? Yes, uh, there's a ton of people, over 300 thousand investors have already signed up with Masterworks. And so many people are signing up that there's actually a wait list unless you guys use my special link down below. So go over to masterworks.art slash FBT and get started today. And a huge thank you to Masterworks for sponsoring this episode of Fra Fra Ta. Hey, welcome back. You made it out of the ad. So for the second story, I, I have a problem with it because uh, John's being a, a bit of a hypocrite here. He's being a little bit of a little baby. You guys realize that in the last episode of FPT, the one you just watched before this, he said he was done with leaks and told this sob story about, oh, my mental health is improving. My mental health has improved 
dramatically. Oh, I just feel like the real boy I was always supposed to be. You could probably see I'm having a lot more fun on the show lately. Oh, I got an extra two inches of my dingling back from stopping leaking. Well, guess what? Today, I have an exclusive leak for you. Oh, I just realized how he got around it. He's having me do it, so he doesn't do it. Oh. Okay, well, let's get into the exclusive leak anyway. So nearly a year ago in June of 2021, Beats debuted their Beats Studio Buds, which was a new thing for them. It wasn't a re-release or an update of an old product. It was this brand new pair of truly wireless earbuds that were pretty closely set to compete against AirPods Pro. Which to break here still confuses me because Beats and AirPods are doing the same thing and they're kind of competing, but the Beats are always situated and priced lower than the AirPods, but like the Beats Studio Buds are so Similar. Just as Apple routinely adds colors to products that have been out for a while in order to spur some additional interest in them, we are about to get three new colors for Beats Studio Buds. And I have to say, they sound way better than the black, red, and white that we have right now. According to one of our sources who actually shared images of the new colors that are not out yet, but look to be coming out soon, the first one here is Sunset Pink. I mean, you don't gotta be a genius to know what this looks like. Like if you've ever seen a sunset, it gets real pink out there. That sounds kind of cool. It'll be like an orangey, red, pink I that sounds, sounds pretty cool I'm kind of interested there's also gonna be ocean blue here which just sounds really nice and I hate that their names just sound good like I can picture the exact color based on the names here I can't even make fun of it this time finally there's gonna be moon gray which by far sounds the sleekest I mean I don't know if it's gonna be a hybrid between space black and space gray or if it's gonna be a super light gray like I don't know the back of this iPad or something but it sounds to look really nice and I look forward to seeing when these drop sometime soon we don't know when don't worry, I don't have those details. If you're watching this and you're like, but when? You're gonna just tell us these screenshot names? That's all I got, all right? This is my job. Stop attacking me. I'm trying my best here on FPT. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into Okay, it. final story of the day, story numero last. Doesn't he say something? Story number last? I don't know, he always says some weird shit. The iPhone 14, man, it continues to fall to pieces and I don't know how they're doing it, but every rumor just keeps getting worse. To catch you up really quick, we first learned that the single hole punch was not gonna be a single hole punch, but was going to be the literal letter I that they just stamp pressed out of the top of the iPhone 14 Pro. No, I'm still not done processing it. No, my therapist hasn't answered my calls. No, I'm not okay. But at this point, I just have to get used to it because this is what we've got. This is the top of the iPhone 14. This was followed by a story about the camera bump, that the camera bump was not only remaining, but that the camera bump was getting larger year over year. In fact, if Apple extended the whole design of the phone to the height of the camera bump, this is how thick the iPhone 14 Pro would be. This is how thick just the camera bump is. Ian did a great job with these renders, but isn't that insane? Like. Okay, so you would say, man, we're probably gonna need some good news at this point because it is literally falling to pieces. According to Guo Chi, who, let me check, according to Apple Track, I don't know who made the site, but man, it is so good. Like if I could talk to the guy or leave a comment about the guy that made Apple Track, I would rate it as very good and someone that I love. Listen, according to Apple Track, Guo Chi is 72.5% accurate, which is pretty good, all things considered. And uh, that will, it's normally good if he's gonna be right, but I really hope he's wrong on this because he he doesn't think that Touch ID is happening basically ever on the iPhone again. So in this latest tweet, I was honestly confused reading it because it didn't make a lot of sense. It was just kind of him backtracking out of things that he's said historically. Like if you go back far enough, you will see him say that Touch ID was supposed to come in 2021 initially. And then he was like, oh, nope, JK, uh, skirt out of the way, it's coming in 2022. Let me just dodge the credibility. And then now it's 2022 and we're all like, okay, great. We're finally gonna get Touch ID back under the display. like. That's how they're gonna do it on the iPhone 14. That's gonna be a dope upgrade. And he's like, ah, you see, actually, no. Actually, what I said before, that was a lot. According to Guo, it has not only been pushed to 2023, it has not only been pushed until 2024, he alludes to it not happening until 2025. Listen, do you know how old I'm gonna be in 2025? I'm gonna be 7,000 years old in 2025. I might not even be around to use Touch ID then. Now listen, to be fair, do we need Touch ID on the iPhone? Like really think about it. If you have used the iPhone 12 or 13 with Face ID, 
do we really need Touch ID at this point? Well, considering that it works with Mass now and that it continues to get better through software, I don't think so. Like there was a point where I genuinely thought we needed Touch ID and it would be make or break. But now things are a little different. To be clear, this is something that I really want. And I tweeted about this the other day. Like there is Touch ID on two iPads in the power button. If the problem is Apple functionally putting it under the display and making it reliable and just as secure as a physical button, then just put it in the power button. Just imagine how cool that would be if to get into your iPhone, it would not only take the one factor of authentication from your face, but a second from your finger. Like you could enable it to have the most secure mobile phone experience in the world. Not to mention that maybe you don't like Face ID and you just wanna go back to Touch ID. Then you could have the option to use either one or both together. It just seems like a no brainer and it doesn't seem like it'd be that hard to put it in the power button, right? But no, Apple's got to do it their way, don't they? Oh man, da, 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 da. I'm hating it. Okay, I'm hating these iPhone 14 leaks. And I love iPhones, okay? I have a lot. I have one right here, all right? I got one for the bros and one for the John Prosters, okay? I got multiple phones, but this man, this is not good news. Like I wanted Touch ID and now it's not coming for the foreseeable future. Listen, do you guys care about this? Is Touch ID coming back important to you? Is it not being there for a few years, a deal breaker for you? Am I just fully imposing my views on you and projecting them out there to create a narrative? I don't know, who could say? Either way, all joking aside, a huge thank you to John for letting me be here and swapping channels. Again, check out him over on my channel down below. I love that man. He's a great guy. You guys are so lucky to have him. I'm going to stop simping. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye. It wouldn't be an eye update in a video without the sirens, would it? Man, then that is a that is a moan. That is a siren that is having sex with something. Because that was a moan. I tell you what. Why art though? Well, art has actually outpaced the S&P 500 from 1995 to 20. Dude, I swear to God, I just saw somebody climb up in my window. And there's a sticky note at the bottom of this. John, this is real. Somebody wrote, have you found me yet? And I'm like, who the fuck is living in my walls? If somebody's living in my walls, I'm gonna be so pissed. They've seen so many times. Actually, I don't want my mom to hear that. Please don't put that in the, or just bleep out what I say. Whatever you do, just bleep everything that's questionable.